Well, welcome back to the channel and to another WWE 2K17 video. This, as always, is the 101. So this video is going to be a follow-up to yesterday's video about the NXT edition of the game. So if you missed that one, then check it out, link on the screen. But in this one, we have lots of bits to cover. So let's kick this off with some more confirmations that you might have missed from yesterday's reveal. So in yesterday's video, we touched on visible superstars on the collector's edition box that would appear to reveal several confirmations for the new game. Those including Aiden English and Simon Gotch, Apollo Crews, Asuka, Bailey, Enzo Mori and Big Cass, Blake and Murphy, Dana Brooke, The Revival, Finn Balor, Nia Jax, Samoa Joe, and of course, Shinsuke Nakamura. However, looking at things a little more closely, there is two more confirmations that you might have missed. There is firstly Alexa Bliss, who you can see here on the left hand side of the cover. So definitely a nice addition for the women's division in the game. And then something you might have seen on my Twitter yesterday as I did tweet this out. Right in the corner on the left hand side, you can see a bit of shoulder, which looks to be Jason Jordan, which in turn should confirm American Alpha for the game. So in theory, this reveal also confirms Alexa Bliss and American Alpha for 2017, which is obviously some pretty good news. Moving on though, also from yesterday, there was some confusion about if you could get Nakamura, Nia Jax and Apollo Crews without actually purchasing the special edition. So even though I did cover it in the video, I just want to repeat what I said yesterday and reconfirm along with the official confirmation via 2K. And that confirmation is that those three superstars will only be available on day one for those of us that purchased the NXT edition of the game. However, will be available later down the line for PS4 and Xbox One users as separate DLC Although, if you still play on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, they will be available for purchase on day one as separate DLC, as there is not an NXT edition of the game on the last gen consoles. Also, another common question from yesterday that again I want to reconfirm is that yes, the digital deluxe version does contain the season pass, however, the NXT edition does not feature it. This is also confirmed by 2K officially as seen here. So that means if you want to get all of this year's DLC, you will firstly need the NXT edition of the game and then pay for the season pass on top. So in total, you'll be looking at about $125, which is obviously some pretty pricey stuff. And the last thing I want to cover in today's video, since some of you guys have been asking, is where you can purchase this edition if you're living outside of the United States. So if you live in the UK and want to get the NXT Collector's Edition, you can get this from Game.co.uk for $79.99. If you're in Australia, you can get this via EB Games for $149.95. If you're in Spain, this is available from the Spanish game priced at $99.95. For those in Germany, it's available from the German Amazon priced at $99.99. It's also available from Amazon if you're from Canada at $129.99. And of course, if you are from the United States, you can get this via the WWE Shop or the 2K Shop priced at $99.99. So if you're looking to purchase the NXT edition and didn't know where to get it, hopefully that might help you out. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this one. Again though guys, just to follow up to yesterday's video, so if you missed the first one, check that out, link on the screen. However, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, and if you have, as always, a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2K17 news as and when it happens. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.